I use the same prompt to generate an article on the same topic on Claude, ChatGPT, O1, and DeepSeek. And in today's video, we'll be comparing the output quality to see which one of the articles followed our word count was actually SEO optimized and overall wrote the best article. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the first article that we got back from DeepSeek. As we can see here, the topic is cryotherapy for mole removal, benefit, risk, and what to expect. And that is the same topic and the same exact prompt in which we're using. I told it to write the article and then I included some keywords that I got back from New and Writer and we'll be using the New and Writer score to kind of be a benchmark for which AI Writer followed the instructions better. So what I'm gonna do first is we're gonna copy over the article from, this is from 01. It says it's 3000 words. So let's actually go ahead and check that. So New and Writer, and then we're gonna generate a title and then we're gonna generate a meta description. If you have not used New and Writer before, essentially it's an SEO optimization tool. You enter the topic in which you'd like to rank for, it will give you a score on how optimized that content is. This is a score that we get back from New and Writer, and this is for ChatGPT01. We get a score of 67 out of 100. It's already higher than the highest optimized content for this specific article. So we're doing really well with 01. It is one of my favorite models. I find that it follows instructions really well, and it gives you in-depth articles that are much longer compared to other AI models. As you can see, it's 2,200 words, so pretty high word count um, for one very small prompt. As you can see here, I barely entered any prompt. It wasn't anything too crazy. Just write an in-depth article, aim for 3,000 words. This is the topic, and then this is the keywords in which we're going after. So I'm impressed with that content, 67 out of 100. And this is the article that we got back from DeepSeek. So I'm just gonna convert it into Markdown. Cryotherapy for mole removal, da-da-da. We're gonna copy this over. We're not gonna copy over the keywords, but it's nice that it told you how much those keywords were used and how often they were used throughout the article. I like that, that's a nice touch. So now we're gonna paste that into New and Writer and we get a score of 66. Okay, so a little bit lower than what we got back from 01, but still pretty good. So we have 68 from 01 and 66 from DeepSeek. So I'm pretty happy with those results. Only difference is we get a word count of 711, which is quite low compared to 2000 words that we got back from 01. So there's definitely a big difference. But as you can see here, DeepSeek is more sort of specific in its writing, right? It doesn't write maybe a lot of content right at once, but it was able to use a lot of those keywords within the article, as we can see here, and it was able to follow those instructions. So I would say that this is pretty good. But again, like for instance, like a FAQ that's only three and it's very short, this seems a little bit incomplete for my needs. I would most likely go ahead and tell it to expand this article. So that's a little bit longer and we get a little bit more in-depth content to aim for at least 2000 words again. But again, when it comes to listening to the instructions, O1 was able to listen to the instructions to a T and it gave us that you know 2000 word article, even though we asked for three, we're still getting two, which is still pretty good. So that is the article that we got back from DeepSeek. Again, we're at a 66 out of 100. Now let's go ahead and check the last article that we got back from Claude, and this is Claude Opus, the highest model in which I used. And again, we're gonna convert that into Markdown. This definitely seems like a shorter article, but let's see how it performs in terms of SEO score. So again, we're gonna copy this over. We're gonna head back over to Neuron Writer. and we're gonna paste that in there. It is a thousand words and we get a score of 66. So this is tied with DeepSeek in terms of the SEO score. O1 is a little bit better. We got a couple of points higher on O1 compared to DeepSeek and compared to Claude. But overall, I wouldn't say that there's a big delta to really um, sort of say one AI is totally better than the other, when it, at least when it comes to SEO score. And when it comes to the score that we're getting back from New and Writer, all of them really did a good job at following the instructions, as we can see here, and giving us a nice starting base for a SEO article. The main difference that I found is that we're able to get an article that's much longer from O1 compared to some of the other models, and I really appreciate and value that. So I would choose O1 in this specific experiment or this specific comparison, I would choose O1 over the other models. I'm gonna do one more test and comparison and we'll check the readability score of each one of these articles. 
So this is grade 12, and this again is from Claude. So Opus is giving us a readability score of grade 12. And this is O1. We're getting a readability score of grade 8, which is actually really good. So I'm very impressed with that content. And again, this is ChatGPT O1. For DeepSeek, we get a readability score of grade 5, which is also really good. So that means the article is very easy to read. So overall, I would say I would choose ChatGPT O1 over these models as of now. I think DeepSeek is a great option, especially because it's free and you get access some, to some of the highest models without paying. And as you can see here, with a couple of prompting, you can get DeepSeek to be a little bit longer because I think that was the only thing that was missing from this article. It was readable. It had really good SEO score. It was just a little bit short, but I think you can solve that with some prompting. But if you wanted the complete easy to use tool that is sort of the all in one when it comes to word count, when it comes to quality of outputs, when it comes to SEO score and readability, then I would choose ChatGPT 01, which is the highest model on ChatGPT. Plot is okay, but I think it can improve. It used to be really, really good, but I feel as though it's falling behind in terms of its writing. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Take care.